This little video is on how to use the uh, fib retracement key. The fib retracement key is located up here in the toolbars. And we'll just do this little one here. As you can see, we have a little run down here like this, down to the moving average. And let's say we were looking to see where we could enter. We're pretty sure it's going down. And so we just take the Fibonacci retracement key, click on it there, and we got it. And uh, we'll click on the, the swing high to the swing low. And what that's going to do is give us these, let me just scroll, these Fibonacci retracements right up here. Now, typically the market moves to the 50% and then turns there. But it could obviously go to the 618 or the 786. So let's just see here what happens. And at the 50%, that's when we want to enter at least a tentative position, maybe not a full lot position, but a tentative position for a move down. And you can see exactly what happened. As soon as it hit the 50%, all the traders in the world made that trade. Now that doesn't mean it can't go back up to the 618 or whatever, but uh, it's made the 50%. So what you need to think about is, in reality, there's been a 50% discount on this currency cross based on this move right here. And it's uh, no different than what happens when you go to a grocery store, you go to a department store, and all of a sudden they announce over the speakers there's a 50% discount on lawnmowers or whatever. Well, you know, the idea is to get you to go over and buy a, a lawnmower, right? So in this case, they're trying to get you to buy the, uh, sell the euro or buy the dollar, okay? So as you can see, we still had to move up to the 618. As soon as we hit the 618, then uh, some more sellers came in, okay? And this whole purpose is to get the movement going in the right direction. And then now she finally gets going and down she goes, okay? So now we're ha we've now had another move up and down. And so now we want to look and say, well, all right, well, how do we do this? Well, same process. We now take the swing high from here down to the swing low down here. Okay, and I'm just on a 10 minute chart, but it works on any chart. Once again, we'll look for the 50%. And at the 50%, there's a wick that just hits it. You see, boom, no more moving up, and there comes the first traders in. That doesn't, again, it doesn't mean they're not going to go up to the 618 or maybe the 786, but we'll look for the turn there, and there she goes, okay? And down she goes. And this just keeps it continuing and continuing and continuing until they hit the targets they're looking for. So, you know, that's how you do it on a 10 minute. Now, let's take it up a little bit higher here, and I'm going to remove all the tools off of here. And then we're going to go up to a 60 minute. And now we get up to a 60 minute chart. Now we can see some, some of the bigger boys moves here. So let's just see if we can't see one here just kind of quickly. All right. So, you know, we'll just take a look at this one right here. All right. And we've already seen where it's going to go. So we've had a strong movement up, down right here and back up. All right. So what we want to see is where are we? So we'll move it here. And uh, where's the place to re-enter if this is really going down? Once again, it's the same process. Click on the swing high, down to the swing low. And at the 50%, percent we would be looking for entries, okay? As you can see, that's exactly what happened. Uh, that's why there's a wick here. A bunch of people entered here. It didn't go up any higher here. Here we had a real strong movement down. And people basically just took their profit because it was, uh, you know, a nice quick move right there. And then boom, 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 all right? So, you know... Uh, the higher the time frame you can spot these, uh, the more accurate they are. It's not that they're not accurate on a 10 minute chart, it's just that uh, the vast majority of traders out there are not trading a 10 minute chart. The guys who print these candles are trading off a of 60 or higher. So it's very important to know what the big boys are thinking, what are they looking at. When they see a 50% retracement, they're looking to make that move and uh, take that trade um, for an additional amount. So that's how you do it, folks. I hope that helps you, and we will talk soon.